Oh, they don't need a button check. I love how Jen uses all of Ryu's uh, moves. He doesn't just use up tilt or he doesn't just use up tilt, he doesn't just use like short down tilt or what is it? Uh, low down tilt. Yeah. He, um, he uses all of his options. He plays really good footsies. It's, it's really nice to watch, actually. Yeah. Speaking of using all his options, he also uses all of Ryu's colors, I've realized. Yeah. He switches between them a lot. Ryu has a good color palette, man. Ryu has a good color palette. I think Roy has the best color palette in the game. Add me if you want. We can argue all over Twitter. Back throw, okay. Ooh, nice, I like it. Round. I like it. He understood. Listen, you can, you have to come here eventually. I'm not coming off this edge. I'm not gonna back here. You, you might think I am, but you have to come to this edge eventually. So I'm gonna get you. Hippie grab. Ooh. Ralph, you right now playing in such a way where oh my gosh, is that gonna, no, yo, playing in such a way that. Jen knows he has to like call out his jumps. Okay, he's a, he went for a, a up smash just now. I wonder what the uh, what the reason for that is. I'm guessing the hitbox on up smash is huge because he tries to anti air a lot of people. Nonetheless, gonna secure that stock. Uh, this game is even. If Ralphie can't get Jen off the stage, uh, this game is even. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying nice. to go for it again, but no. Oh, very dangerous up yeah, there. Good job by Jen. He went early. He understood. Listen, he's gonna try it again. Let me go early. Oh, but I'll take it. Oh my God! Oh, it's so sad. Cloud, has, Cloud has some good moves. Good moves. Four tilt that kills. Up tilt that puts you right back in the mix. Survival. Ryu doesn't like swords. As, <laughs> as he switches colors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Ryu doesn't like swords. In this matchup, you definitely want to play keep away with go. touch and go. Because you could die at any second. Well, not any second. But like, you, 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 you ain't safe. Ooh, Jen trying to go for the drop down from the platform. Head open. Yeah. He would have got something funky after that. I've seen him get like some pretty nice stuff off that on like Battlefield and stages and stuff like that. Ooh. And Jen, okay, as Robbie gets back to the middle, Jen does a really good job of reacting to cross up. So like you're trying to cross up his shield, and he will uh, immediately turn around into down tilt or up tilt. He also does a really good job of reading. Oh, your options out of shield. So a lot of people will see Ryu. Uh, oh, just he tried to jump back onto the stage, but it was too short. Oh. Ralph, you have the signature use of limit blade. Okay. Oh, is that two frame? Yep. Yeah. I mean, it was not a two frame. Excuse me. Uh, that's why he didn't get his double on the back. Good job, by Jack. Some damage. Yikes! 22, 22 percent on that combo. Three hit combo. But here we go. The up tilts. The blender. Good job by Ralph. He knew the focus attack was coming, so he just waited it out. Got the shield. Probably could have killed him with a forward smash. Uh, focus attack has a lot of that life. This is where it gets scary, man. Cloud with limit, all this, all his movement options, quick kill options off the side of the stage. Nonetheless, Jen gonna get right back to the middle of the stage, taking stage control. 51 cent on Ralphie right now, 136 on Jen. He could die. This is very scary for Ralphie. Here we go. Strong jab. Hey, Ralphie playing the keep away game, just trying to figure out how he can get in and land this limit cross slash. Uh, Jen doing a good job of keeping him on top. Moving a little further. Oh, yeah. That dash attack. I know he wishes he could get that one back. He spaced out the back air really well, or whatever that landing option was by. Uh, yeah, let's see it. By Ralphie. Oh, it was a nair. Oh. Yep. Spaced out that nair really well. He wanted to turn around and up tilt or down tilt, whatever tilt he wanted to throw out, but 
Uh, he ended up dashing, and a uh, dash attack came out. Put him completely out of stage control. Something that small, Ralphie was able to... Um, yeah, he just reacted to and yeah. know the punish. Able to take his stock off of that. Great job by Ralphie. Did exactly what he needed to do to keep Ryu out. And just moving on. Now we've got Bill and Vivi. Yes, sir. Pretty Can we blow up this uh, mission uh, 12 slide, though? Survival! Where is this? I don't know. We gotta go. Uh, helper has to go to the commentators. Oh, there it is. I guess we can be fancy. Mission 12. This is a new brand. Uh, talk to House about it. We got a promo code for House as well. If you want one of these dope snake shirts or hoodies, Lucario. head to the website. You get 10%. Nonetheless, let's get into it. Lucario, Diddy Kong. We all know what the deal is. Lucario, just don't get, don't kill him again. If you kill him, you should die. Oh. Why? Because Aura works. Aura works. Now, did, Vivi's uh, Lucario, his wave bounces are really nice. V reverses wave bounces. He has all of that. Shield cancels into uh, Aura's favor. He has all of that. And you, but you need that all of that in order to even stand a chance against Diddy Kong in this matchup because your aerials are not that good. Diddy very, I mean, Diddy. Vivi very good in like the mid range. He knows at, where to stand at this range where like. Uh -huh. You're, you're tempted to like just go in at him and then he'll like go in at you with like Lucario's ridiculous dash grab. Or like when he's in the air. Yeah, yeah that dash grab is really nice. And with a character like Lu Lucario, he can reverse and like kind of bait you out with things like that. It's dangerous. Because not only can he bait you out and punish you, but you can die because of those things. So nonetheless, 97% uh, in on uh, BB right now, but damage is, um, oh, any damage is good damage for Lucario. As long as he's not dead, he's in it. Uh, he tried to get the uh, the throw animation out before the banana gave hit him, but it wasn't fast enough. That throw does have a hitbox, but... Yeah, not quick enough. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, very good for Vivi. It looked like Dill did not input the kick fast enough, so he just got trapped into the uh, in that early charge. Now, although Lucario doesn't have uh, much aura, he still has rage. Rage is still a kick. Oh, but there he goes. That. Wow. Dill with the celebratory. Bananas. That barrels, oh my god. I'm surprised that didn't hit. I'm guessing the hitbox on that, uh, on the upbeat is behind Lucario. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, because that didn't trade or anything. He just got caught, snatched. Nice reaction. Did he gonna get out of that with fair? Uh, BB doing a good job though, although he got hit, able to keep stage control. She did doing a really good job of punishing these jumps. As soon as BB got into the air, he immediately took stage control and kept him in the air. Oh, it's BB's turn now. Here we go. Okay. Giving Dill time to play. Monkey flip gonna catch him. Dude, I don't know what that force palm was. Probably yeah, meant to be reverse or a spear. Okay. Ooh, same. Okay, I was gonna say that was looking like. Oh no. Was that on purpose? I mean, it could oh, have been. That's but probably like, what he yeah. did. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, this is scary. Smart use of the aura sphere to cancel banana. This is very scary. You can see, Dill doesn't want to get hit with anything. Uh, one disadvantage could mean his stop. Uh, nice job. Scary. Still off stage, gonna pluck a banana trying to get back, put a hitbox out there. I like it. Okay, he's doing a, uh, doing a good job of keeping him on top of him, but kind of shoot, um, swinging for defenses with that up smash. He has a he has a good feel of where Dill is gonna be, and he's throwing out all these like big hitboxes at him. Yeah, because Dill's always like a few frames like safe enough to shield. He's doing a lot of shield damage, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but even if he's not breaking the shield, he's making... Oh, uh, that might have been an up smash. Uh, but he's making Dill scared enough not to sit in shield. And the fear is enough to do it. Up to almost... Oh, no. Oh, that's oh forward throw. That's nasty. Go long. On the platform. 
Every time, every time I see Diddy do that four throw, I think of the Brett Favre commercial. He throws a nice spiral, man. Yo, absolutely. Oh, but I'm clicking. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> the Brett Favre commercial? I have no idea what that is. Is it on Twitch or something? The People like complaining about how there's uh, this football commercials on Twitch now. Football, I mean... There's a lot of people. There's a lot of different types of people watching Twitch now. So many. Apparently, some of them like football and hockey. But here we go. We got um. We got FD. He taking him to FD. Okay. Anytime you see somebody take Diddy Kong to FD, it's because they want to catch Diddy's name. They understand. Okay, this Diddy Kong monkey flips a lot. They go high a lot. So I'm not going to give you any platforms to try and uh, save me. Right. You're going to have to come down to me. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this thing. I like it. Nice. Although that combo was not cheap, you'd be able to uh, connect it to keep uh, Dill in it. And not rolling in. Really wants, so. Now you see BB playing the beginning of this match a lot like he played the end of the last match. He's very, playing very safe, uh, charging a lot of ore spheres, uh, tr just trying to get shield damage, maybe uh, a couple ore spheres like that. He's gonna rack up some damage. See if he could get in uh, Dill's head to secure this stock early. Job by BB that pivot grab to catch and put him off stage. Okay, how do you get back on? I'm oh, just gonna jump. <laughs> BB wasn't in place to punish him for jumping just now, so he got a free beat back to the stage. <laughs> Forward throw. <laughs> uh, tries to cover the edge with the banana. Yeah, the first recovery a little hard to time. Yeah. Say so you gotta get it on startup. You don't, want, you don't really want to contest it unless it's on startup. Okay. Here we go. Okay. It seemed like VB had a couple of opportunities. Oh, now up there going to do it. Seemed like VB had a couple of opportunities to, uh, to punish there, but he was kind of extra patient on those pulls. Good reaction from Dill. Ah, oh, the, yeah, the banana truck in yes. his be frustrating. Absolutely. Uh, they're making it very hard for VB to get in, and uh, the banana is not making it any easier. Horse Paul not going to do it, but he's going to give him full stage control. VB not able to react to the roll though. Back air. Take all of this. Okay, 45% on uh, VB right now. Hand in hand, opting to just throw it. Still sitting on that platform. I remember him mentioning once to me that BB is one of the few players he would actively try to time out. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame him, man. You saw Wraith uh, earlier try and time out his uh, Lucario. After Wraith takes the first stop, he's not fighting Lucario anymore. <laughs> Lucario is a scary thing. Fair enough. Okay, grab combos. He's trying to make it down to the stage. Down to the. Um, Oh, Back banana down. coming roll. Get the roll wall. That would probably be the worst option for that situation. Recover high, okay. Nice. And that was difficult. He was under the stage, but he was still able to get the um, reduced lag on his upbeat. You could tell he really understands this game. Ooh, very good for BB. Throwing, he, he put the banana down. He uh, charged the lowest here and was like, okay, where are you going? Up. That was great. He covered, like you said, he covered all the ground options. He right. understood, listen, your only option is to jump. Right, and most like people expect Lucario to please go cancel his Aura Sphere jump. He'll um, back air you, but no, he went up air. Yeah, which is still a very strong yeah. move, so. Very strong, but like not used as often. So good call out from him. Yeah. I like it. I love watching Vivi's Lucario. Man. Whenever he's like, uh, he's a little younger, so he gets a little tilted. But uh, when he's focused, man, Lucario looks very good. Okay, Dill just gonna take his time here. I don't blame. I don't blame him. Yeah, you can tell he, he worked very hard for that match. Um, but like we said, uh, as long as Lucario's alive, he's always in the game. So you saw Vivi kind of just walk him down, 
he was losing for a majority of that match, but he just walked him down, walked him down to the end, put him in one situation where I thought he was going to kill, and he took it. I didn't even see where they went. Smashville? Uh, you mean Town. Three, two, town. Okay. One, go! Okay, yeah, and I, and I think this, uh, this match is going to be very good to a heavy. We're going to see yeah. charge a lot of or uh, here. Yeah, I already see Dill throw out a lot of peanuts, much more than, like, he's been doing the first two games. Kind of just coming out the gate with peanuts. But, I mean, this game is more offensive than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. They're actually uh, swinging. Okay, here we go. Uh, Atten, uh, he had a lot of stage control just now. Kind of committed to that grab. I do love his usage of Oris for a cancel banana. Yeah, definitely. If you can get that banana off the stage, do it. Yeah. If you can get it from off the stage, from the from the other side of the stage, that's even better. Yeah. Just go to Oris from him knowing how much charge is necessary for it to cancel. Ooh, nice. Very simple still. Good use of the platform to fight his way out of the corner. Yeah. Now, although Dill is in the lead, he understands. Uh, he's adapting to how Lucario works. And he knows, listen, uh, I just can't run at you with my forehead <laughs> anymore. I'm going to have to play the entire game. Because you saw when Dill got the lead the last two matches, he kind of let his foot off the gas. He took a couple more risks. I don't think he's going to do that this game. Nice. That was very scary. He put out a lot of hit. He put out a lot of hitboxes just now. Not where Dill was, but where he could have been if he tried a, de a defensive option or a panic option. Right. But uh, Dill kind of stayed, uh, stayed uh, focused, stayed grounded. Right. Or is he a really good tool for doing that? Like you're gonna go take it, or you're gonna try to jump over it. And he's like, you know, he's ready to just like hold it, scare you into doing something. Yeah. Oh, but not to uh, catch it. Not too many characters can uh, catch uh, the up like that. Especially when the aura is that high. It moves pretty fast, man. Ah, uh, sitting in shield. Just gonna whittle that shield down. Didn't really have anything that could work. Uh, connect after that. Now, the, the movement from Dill, uh, from Deep is really good, but you see Dill, he's just a step ahead every time. Man. Yeah, and like he's also not at the. I mean, maybe he is now, but he, he wasn't at the um, aura for that movement to not even kill the way he does the B reverses. Okay. Now you see VB adapting to these uh, to these monkey flips, but Dill is doing them high enough that he still has an option before he hits the ground. Yeah. So he'll do the monkey flip really high, and if he sees me, he kind of cover it. He'll jump. A little late on the up smash. Okay. Now he's back. Oh, that sound so scary, man. I and that's making a scare. That's the second time that happened. Uh, he covered the entire edge of the stage with Orosphere, and he's just a little bit too close to the edge where when he released the Orosphere, it didn't cast a roll, and Dill was able to roll behind him. <laughs> Diddy's roll, man, that, it works different. This is going to be a nice little matchup. Three, two, the, uh, one, Wraith is not a stranger to Ryu. He has a, a, a Ryu secondary he likes to pull out against boxes and... Uh, other fast fallers that can't really um, that get exploded by up to. <laughs> yeah. So he understands the character, but Jan is a different reason, man. Definitely one of the top reasons in the United States, if not the world. Jen playing it pretty patient, but it making sure he's like not in position to get bulleted. Absolutely, because once Jen gets off the stage, Bayonetta has way too many tools to keep him off. Even if he doesn't kill, even if Wraith doesn't kill Jen, coming back to the stage, he's taking 50 to 60 damage every single time. Both of them calling uh, each other out, but uh, Bayonetta's up still just has more range. Now, he didn't get the reverse on that upbeat to send him towards the blast zone, so Jen was able to get back to the stage. Which was good for Jen. Take the upbeat, get back to the stage, reset the beat. 
They would call it from Rage. Let's go now. Damn it, man. Old is just trying to get back to uh, stage control. Oh, wow. Space and Coke, since where they would get hit by one part of the list. And, and that's the mix, because Jan was trying to focus attack, because usually Bayonetta's were up tilt in situations like that. Yeah. But Wraith understanding that focus attack oh, works, so doing the, um, the safer option. Oh, my God. No, it didn't look like... Ugh. Yeah, you that time, though, yeah. Yeah, you did. Here we go. Stock button. <laughs> Here right. we go. Uh, What's looking for here? He wanted the air dodge. Jen didn't give him anything. Oh. Just, uh, nothing. Okay. Just gonna space out these back airs. I like it. Ooh, Ooh trying yeah. to show you out that combo. Okay. So at least. Stop. Don't need to commentate that. Here we go. Let's reset it. Wraith likes to taunt after uh, after he gets his first time kills. He likes to tilt the players that would be tilted. Okay, up there. Double up there. Gonna let him come back to the ground. Uh, now, in that split second that Jen waited, he was waiting for which time to see if he was gonna throw it out. He didn't, so he continued to uh, lay the pressure on It's the meta, man. The meta is not really a disadvantage. You just think she's a disadvantage. Power shield by Jen. Him to get that shield grab, keeping Wraith in the air. Ooh, I don't know what he's maybe trying to call it a down with half a better kick, but that's definitely not what he's Yeah, that was weird. Uh, I don't, there was no way for Wraith to be in that spot to get hit by that force. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, yeah. there you go. Is that getting from behind? <gasps> oh, he's living. Wow. Oh, okay. uh, he's Are probably you really not. Living, oh, no. oh, Jen. Oh, okay, Jen Wraith. Jen getting a second one. Yeah, this isn't good. He can't give Ryu this many chances. If he allows him to get back to the stage, he's gonna die. Oh, very good for Jen Delay. Um, uh -oh. What? Oh, I'm surprised yeah. that did not trade. I, mean, I am really surprised. I don't know what her, her fox is on that, but uh -huh. I would think, yeah. Like if you look at it right here, ah. Oh. So you gotta shoot the leg. You, you gotta hit the leg, not shoot, the, not hit the guns. Ah, uh, yeah. How did he survive this? Yeah, that was fully charged. What the with, hell? With some rage. Even on battlefield. Yeah. That was some next old Nonetheless, game two. Uh, I feel like that last game could have went either way. So I think they're gonna come out swinging. <coughs> Here you go. <laughs> Just as I say that, Jen puts on the percentage and runs to the other side of the screen. Smart <laughs> by Jen knowing what he could get off of bats for him. Definitely. I know uh, Ralphie has a Bayonetta that he usually brings out occasionally, so he's definitely not going to be a stranger to this. Yeah. yeah, you're dead. Wraith used to come to uh, Xenos and kind of run through bracket because nobody knew how to play against Bayonetta. Yeah, we haven't had, for the longest time, we didn't have Bayonetta until other players started picking her up and um, also Zane became more active. Yeah. So we've got a dead even game, uh, yeah. which means it's in Ryu's favorite. <laughs> I mean, with these two characters, I would say it's an idol. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is Bayonetta, man. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The mix. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm going to get off this. Hitting her with the bow. Yeah. Okay. If you don't get the first side, you just throw out another one. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, tell your Bayo. Yeah, this is Bayonetta. You see Jen uh, retreating back to the middle of the stage because he wants to catch an afterburner kick, but Rage recognizing that and he's not giving it to him. Yeah. It's important. It's important to recognize what your opponent is looking for. Ooh! Yo, you, everybody sure forgets about me. that. Yeah. It's not safe, and it's and like you yeah. said, it's so easy to forget about that because she has so many options to keep you in shield. You wouldn't expect him to have a shield break. Yeah. Imagine uh, Marth and Lucina could like jab to keep you in shields. And if you don't time it right, you just get stuck in jab and then he just neutral bees. Oh my gosh, that would be the most annoying thing.
That'd be... Uh. Okay, going to town. Okay. So I'm characters, serious. I guess, benefiting from it. Yeah, Let's I see. agree. I would say the same thing. They both can uh, do exactly what time the city gives you, including right off the top. And Jen, I don't know if it's him or if he's just getting really lucky, but there's so many times he's um, focused attacking through his multi hits and only getting hit once. And, like, again, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it, it's working out for him. See? Like right there. Although I guess there the first hit is on the ground. Ooh. Yo, that, that kill. Oh. Oh, that was smart. Just wasn't close enough. Okay, great job by Jen. A lot. And the thing is, a lot of reuse of... You're dead. Oh, yeah. You're dead. Shotgun up, um, up me. <laughs> and you can't even be mad because you just put him in the mix the same way. <laughs> Here we go. Good job. Jen recognizing that the bullets weren't coming out of the feet on the heel slide. So, uh... He immediately went into punishment. Okay, that platform movement kind of saved Jen. We got him out of his head. Yeah. Yo, he died. Yikes. It was at the EX preemptive get up of, wow, you air dodged in that situation? Yeah, you're dead. I'm sorry, dude. I'll take that, D. He knew. He knew yeah, it was over. Absolutely. That was really good. <laughs> Tom's like, oh, my face. Jen, um, <laughs> Sorry, Puts on. That's fine. You get called Underworld? Underworld. Underworld. Yeah, Underworld game. Nonetheless, we have Mewtwo and Fury. Another pretty vol. I mean, most of Falcon's matchups are volatile. Like, this is actually. Oh, sorry. Go on. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. This is actually um, uh, a match that happens like quite frequently, uh, frequently as you know. Uh, pretty back and forth too. Vivi and uh, Fury. Last yeah. week I believe Fury did upset Vivi, and then the week before that, Vivi got Fury. So yeah. they definitely like um, they definitely used to each other. Although this time, Vivi got on YouTube. I guess he's chilling with YouTube. He was able to do a really good job of uh, holding his own against Ray earlier. So I'm not mad at this pick. Um, it's definitely working out. Uh, Oh, but, yeah. Falcon's punish game on YouTube is pretty good, though, so. Yeah. Nice space back in there. There aren't too many characters that can punish uh, Falcon. Throwing out that uh, up air. Or falling up air. Once he, once he throws out the up air, it's probably too late for you to do anything about it. <laughs> Your best is to just get out of dodge, man. Now that um, Shadow Ball is going to be a really uh, good tool for to this matchup. Anything that can hit Falcon and put him in disadvantage from the other side of the stage or stop him from rushing down is good. Because you can see uh, Fury kind of just sitting at the at the edge just now. He didn't want to do anything because he had a Shadow Ball or yeah, Shadow Ball charge. Yeah, very good. Do it. And he caught him the eyeing out. He probably would have died in died. Okay. A little bit of BB Sakario showing there. Yeah. Knowing the pressure, man. Yeah. Knowing when people like want to jump away from like the pressure. Uh -huh. Wow. It's not even safe on hit, my guy. Yo, that's Sheik Fair. Yeah. But it kills! Yikes. It's Sheik Fair that kills. Yikes. I mean, they did make the hitbox of that move a lot bigger on the buffs, which makes it so much, uh, like a much, much better move. It's already really good. But imagine if it went from up, like, uh, vertically. Oh my gosh! Like a, like a sword for real, instead of like left to right. I mean, this is oh. a very scary conversation. That would. Although then oh. it would probably be like a little worse um, on Rising. And Rising oh, yeah. is part of like why that move is so good. You're right. You do a and then just. Kind of surprise them with a rising play. Three, two, one, go! Unless we're going right back to Smash. Definitely a good stage for Falcon. Um, but VB did a good job. Falcon is, is, is optimal rush down. Like, he's going to run at you, and if you can't stop me, bro, I'm taking you with me. 
Uh, he'd be doing a good job of just stopping him from doing that. Fury definitely um, filling out the air dodge, but Mewtwo, the rate at which you can like, press air dodge is very ooh, hesitating on the knee there. Uh, he won the air dodge, but Mewtwo not giving it to him. He's just going to grab him out of the air. In this game are already very different. Fury controlling the pace the whole time. Oh, not even necessary. But Does, and he stalled yeah. so well. BB did a great job of stalling, but he bumped into the bottom of the stage, which forced him to kind of like linger there for a while. And that's why he was able to get caught. Okay. Oh, loving the movement from Fury right now. Dancing around. Fair. It's gonna be like especially good right now since um, BB's gonna be looking for a kill rather than play patient. Okay. Like you said, Fury's movement is really good, man. He's kind of mixing it up. He understands that uh, BB's trying to stuff him on his beginning burst range. So uh, he's mixing up his burst range. He's not standing in the same place. So uh, it's making it hard for him to uh, read where he's right. Fury also finally. Um, holding shield on the full nair. Game one, he was um, letting go a little early a lot of the time. Uh, yeah. so he's been getting these nice punishes off that. Ooh, <laughs> the yeah. YOLO! Oh my god! I mean, he didn't die for it, so it wasn't that bad. Okay. Uh, that was, I thought that you was me at first. <laughs> you saw the knee come out. Yeah. You saw the animation. He just needed like two more frames and BB was dead. Right. He took two fast. Kind of stretching for that knee. Uh, not too big of a punish, though, so I'll take it. Ah, that takes his damage. Ah, uh, again. You're seeing a little bit anxious. Trying to read a back roll, which is what a lot of people do when stopping in that situation. They just back roll and they stand there. Or they jump. That move does call out your jump as well. Ooh, catching the get up. Very good. Now, that was a really good time, short hop, because he reacted to the neutral get up. He also could have reacted to the roll by just like landing and grabbing him. Right. <laughs> so he covered a lot of options with that timing of the jump. Right, and even like jump, which isn't as reactable. He was in the position to like um, react to whatever Vivi would do after that. If you yeah. were for that. Yeah, he would have covered landing really, really well. Okay, Vivi switching characters. Now, this is that. Back this is um. Uh, Mewtwo did so well game one, mm -hmm. so well. So you stuck to Mewtwo. Now you switch to. Uh, I mean, game two, you lose. Now, you don't know what to do. Do you, do you go back to your tried and true main? Right, you go game two. Can you stick game two? You go Mario. So it, it's tough. That's what happens when you play against two characters. Vivi also has a, a very good Beast Sword fighter, but he won't show us at you. Yeah, I've never seen him. He's um, actually the best Beast Sword fighter in the world. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, we need an eight-person bracket <laughs> with the four best sword fighters from New York and the four best sword fighters from Long Island to really settle this. Long Island, send your players. Oh, oh no, he's no. dead. He's not what dead. was he doing? Good delay. What? Good delay. Okay. Yo, good bait by Vivi, getting hit by the up tilt in order to, oh, nice. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> What is going on right now? <laughs> I don't now? know. Like, what are we to play this matchup? <laughs> what are we even commentating? I don't know. We were talking about swords with drunk hands. Oh, let's go. My goodness. Nonetheless, uh, who has momentum? Who is this game in favor of? Nobody knows. Dead, Dead right even. Oh. Fury is like a glass cannon. Like I could kill my. I I could let you kill me. I could SD. I could kill myself. Like this will go any way, B. I wish this was winners finals. <laughs> It would have been perfect. Uh, oh, oh my so god! Out of his own thing. Okay. Like, bro, I'm Falcon. I'm just gonna push through you out of this. This is definitely Don't. scary for me. Up angled forward tilt? That was nice! I think that was um, one of Nixie's Twitter handles for the long time. <laughs> that drone like, looked clean. Nice. nice little roundhouse. Ooh. Next one is definitely gonna kill, though. Mm, don't stay on this. Don't touch my ledge, B! <laughs> Don't touch my ledge. Oh, yeah. Uh, the oh, air dodge. Oh, this is so scary. Okay. Shield pressure. 
okay. Definitely really scary for both players, huh? Now, you, in situations like this, you see a lot of, like, mediocre Lucario mains. They just Yeah, short. there we go. I, can I commentate, BB? Can I just talk VV, about what you just did? Yo, BB winning with the Super Saiyan percent? <laughs> You're mad easy? Like, bro. In situations, I was going to say, in situations like that, you see a lot of Lucario's spam short hop back air. But you see um, short hop back air into a fast fall. And you see VV kind of mix that up. He does full hops. He does short hops. He kind of delays his that down tilt. Like, what were you so doing? So we need the, we need the play by play of the first stock. So right. you see right here, VV got hit on purpose mm -hmm. by the up air to get hit by the up tilt. And then he baited the knee. Mm -hmm. And then he killed him. That was really yeah, well, nice. Fury came like right Killed him back. without yeah. even touching him. Yeah, and then Fury came back, and Fury was like, "LOL, I'm gonna murder you." Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those characters don't. <laughs> Just whip a grab and die. <laughs> mm. Numbers is cursing. Yeah, he's playing Splatoon. He's probably oh, Splatoon. Is he still playing Splatoon? <laughs> I think he's still playing Splatoon. Jesus Christ! How did he? Sword, banana. You would think we know who's gonna win this matchup. The sword or the banana? Oh, wow. Zill's pretty Very positive nice on rap, actually. I'm, I'm just talking about in terms of uh, <laughs> their weapons of choice. Oh, yeah. I mean, potassium always do. Come on. See, the key is that Dil, uh, Diddy doesn't actually throw the banana. He throws the banana peel because he's enjoyed the banana already. You're right. He powered up on the banana. And then he just uses. That's race. right, kids. Eat fruit. It'll make you stronger. It'll make you feel like salty. Either way, you're winning. Nonetheless, fair. That's 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 the bane of Cloud's existence in this matchup. That fair? Very interesting. Like, as soon as Cloud throws out any uh, hitbox or aerial that is unsafe, again, he's two feet to the face, dude. Every time. You ever got kicked by a monkey? Uh, no. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, 123 sitting on Ralphie right now. Kind of chasing Dill around the stage. Building a, uh, a good job of playing touch and go. I mean, not really doing a good job of touch and go. Kind of getting hit on the go, but <laughs> still winning. Okay, nice. There you go. Um, Cloud, pretty vulnerable on that uh, upbeat. Kind of hard to make him uh, put him at a distance to snap correctly. So, uh, uh, Ralphie there. The dash attack will grab banana and uh, covering monkey flipping case. Won't get that option. Ooh, but down or go send him up. Best defense is sometimes some offense. Ralphie just going to throw out that down there. Cloud looked like he was a uh, dual wheel. Down to not safe. There's no banana throw into a multi jab. Okay, now you see Robbie doing a, a lot of fighting. Um, he's fighting his way down from these platforms and stuff. And I don't blame him because cloud aerials are uh, stupid. I mean, good. Synonymous. Blender. Monkey flip. Get a monkey flip out of there. Now you see, Ralphie not even paying attention to his banana anymore. It seems like Dill is kind of like uh, um, conditioned him to not pick it up. He's been punished a lot for trying to play banana. But now Ralphie's just ignoring it completely and just continuing with his offense. And it's working. Okay, I thought for sure he was going to throw that blade in there. Ah, still getting really uh, tricky with his. Uh, yeah, that, was great, that was a great job by Dill. Uh, Ralphie got him off stage, and it was kind of hard for Dill to come back. But um, him being a little tricky with his pop guns and multi, uh, I mean, view reverse and all that, was able to get down. <laughs> Stop and secure that kill. <laughs> it looks like they're uh, feeding Dill bits. <laughs> <laughs> 100 bits to go <laughs> punch the monkey player. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess it worked. <laughs> what just happened? I think Dill just got really distracted by the fact that his brother just came up to him and punched him right before he started him. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, he's gone. 
Oh no. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Devin destroyed Dill. Oh god, it's a Dill. <laughs> I just ran the behind oh. So my mind just got blown. Yeah. I did not know. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. I can hear. God. All right, you paid up, guys. I can hear the condescending tone. He gave us, he gave us the dollar. That's going to come from you guys if I say this. So we're just going to go to Lilat for game two. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God. It still is kind of shook. He's mad now. Look at this. He got punched in the face. <laughs> He got punched in the face, and now oh, he's, he's punching good. Ralphie in the face. Okay, Ralphie's just gonna once again fight his way back onto the stage. <laughs> yeah, the rate of at which Dill is pressing buttons this game is a lot higher. So maybe that punch feels a bit too tough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, these uh, perfect is coming from Ralphie. Now, any cloud that could perfect pivot, man, in right situations, it looks clean. Oh, uh, you got to that LP now. Great job by this. Put out the new boxes. Good banana, too, because you know, if he that down to alone, he could have probably still snap a ledge, but that banana just had to far away. Of course, the limit. He wanted to trade with that, uh, with that LP. A little late on the pull. Ralphie able to get back to the stage. And this is looking ugly. That was, that was scary for Ralphie. Very scary for Ralphie. Yeah, here we go. Just going to charge the limit right here on the Lilac platform. Ralphie not mining working for the corner. Mm, tries to read a jump. Not mad at it, though. Doesn't get punished too bad. Forward jump. Go long. <laughs> oh, just wake up. Cross slash. Not gonna connect. Stayed safe, but uh, stayed offensive. You see, Dill doing a good job of punishing Ralphie this game for his offense. Ralphie does a lot of like offensive options. Right, Ralphie's swinging a lot. It's not really like hitting him, so you're not being safe on it. And you don't see a lot of people capitalize on that because you're so scared of Cloud. But Dill is in the right place at the right time. Right, a lot of players, players just like take the shield damage. right now. So this has like such a really nice uh, feel of Ralphie's movement. And he's able to call out his like, jumps. Nice. Oh my gosh. Barely. It looked like he was not going to die. <laughs> that would have been scary. He used up your last bit of limit. Yeah, kill percentage. Limit just about charged up. This is scary. Good job by Ralph again back to the ground. That was the, that was the most important uh, task. <laughs> Getting back to the ground. He's playing hot potato. Alright, threw out a back there, but the hitbox didn't come out and it didn't auto cancel. But I'm still not able to react to that. Nice, gonna come that roll up there. Here's the mix. 52%. Yeah, very good. Call out on the cliff, won't be enough. Um, okay, but now you that limit. Advantage. Definitely. Still oh, so just like fighting his way down. A little taste of Ralph's medicine. Ooh, up Ooh, it, what? It was, it was the weekend. Not that was now. the softest hitting up air I've ever heard in my life. I've never heard up air sound like that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Call him out. Drop down fair. See, Ralphie had a chance to charge limit on on the way down to so mix up the recovery a little bit better, but um, he I guess he didn't want to uh, use the limit. He oh, wanted to save it. Survival. <laughs> Devin going in for hit two. <laughs> he just ran up. <laughs> we don't want to actually hit his brother. Which I respect. Yes, we got VV versus uh, Jen up next. Okay, the winners finals, right? Those are semis, Those are bro. Semis. We just yeah. finished yeah. Winner's Finals. That was Winner's Finals? Yeah, yeah bro. Look at neither of you acknowledging that. You're just looking at your phones. Oh, no. I was... <laughs>
<laughs> See, I was about to resub, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I, 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 guess, I, I guess I won't now since <laughs> you're being like this. Right. I love you, Proton. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another volatile matchup. New York loves their volatile matchups, man. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you didn't just like, run up and. If, I'm trying to figure out why Jen threw out that Shoryu. If he threw out that Shoryu to try and catch Lucario's upbeat, Jen is a savage. Like, you could have missed it, but... It's more details. Okay, here we go. Lucario at the middle of the stage, keeping stage control. When Lucario has his feet on the ground in the middle of the stage, man, it's scary. Rinse and repeat. Try it again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jen's making that nice use of the part Yeah. Mm, the mix. Ooh, same combo as. Nice. And he knows. Even Jen, getting the follow up like that. Yeah. And Jen knows exactly when to end the combo. He knows exactly how long it needs to be. And just like that, up till sure you didn't need to compensate that for you guys. Dude, that was short. But, um. Jen knows exactly when to end these combos. I think he's gonna go uh, Mewtwo. He, he might. Yeah, that was very convincing. Survival. Taking off his. Or no, not. He's not. Or not. Only change he needed was taking off his jacket. Yeah, he's like, listen, I'm too hot. It's too hot in here. It's constricting my flow. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Already a better start from DD. Really very nice and Jen's playing very stationary right now. Maybe just taking advantage of that. Okay. He's doing a lot of great movement options, just trying to cover where Jen wants to go. But Jen's doing a good job of just keeping his feet on the ground. Not uh flinching, frenzying. I mean he's taking a lot of damage, but uh but it's not scary. He's not yet. flinching. Yeah. Fair gonna get him off stage. This is where Jen can put on uh, some good pressure. Mm. Now, so many options recovered with that focus attack just now on uh, the tech situation by Jen. Good focus. Yeah. Uh, Jen's still playing kind of stationary like he was in the beginning, but like it's working since doesn't need to mm. run into his burns. Okay, now you see uh, in that situation, he was stuck in shield. He did a good job of holding on to shield. And as soon as he knew he was out of range to get hit by the aura sphere, he immediately started to up tilt because the Mario's love to back air. Take a back air. Yeah, that back air going to do it. Meaty. Meaty. Uh, re def absolutely the definition of meaty. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the read! It sucks so much when you get that read, but the, um, your timing is just a little off. It's even worse when you get punished and die for it. If you make rare use of up angle to forward tilt. If you ever actually uh, went back and look at that move in like slow motion, Lucario's head twists when he's doing it. It's Four. like some disembodied doll or something. Forward to? Yeah, up angled forward to. Yeah. That seems that seems odd. <laughs> uh, and, yeah. That was nice. That focus oh. attack. He, he had no intentions of landing that focus attack. It was literally just to see what he was going to do out of shield, and he gave him exactly what he wanted. Pretty quick Roll set. behind, up tilt, take this damage. Focus attack? Ah, uh, baited. <laughs> it looks even worse the second time. Nonetheless, good job, IDB. Good job. Proton Wash. Yes, Proton. Is that your last name, or no, you just wash? That's just no. That's just my. Uh, it's a reference to the Pokemon. Okay, but Clever. This again? Yeah, we have a repeat of the run back. Simmons. Okay, oh, the fox. Really odd. In this yeah, this on. this is definitely not a matchup that you want to pull out the the pocket fox in. You gotta know this matchup. But I mean, 
Ralphie can prove us wrong. Ralphie is a is a really good player. Oh, Bro, I want you to know, Ralphie, that you died. You died twice. <laughs> I just want you to know. You probably know, but when you watch this VOD again, you died. What? Mm, let me get hit with the reverse hit. What? Great coverage by Jack, man. He's just not safe. These Tatsus are kind of nutty, but I like them too. Yo, did you see the size of that hitbox? First of all, he was at his feet. Yeah, he was. <laughs> now nah, this is where he gets scary, man. Ah, damn it, Funk! Oh my, oh my gosh, 69. Oh, oh, that that was it. That was the stop. You died again, Ralph. I just want you. That was definitely an up smash again, or down yeah. smash. Okay, I'm not. Nonetheless, Ralphie's Fox isn't bad. It's just when Jen puts him in the mix, he's taking. Yo, can I talk? <laughs> can I please talk, Jen? It's just that every time Jen gets him in the mix, he's taking 70 damage. Full combo, and you're probably going to die. But his, um, the Fox was, wasn't bad. Mega Man. The Fox was not bad at all. I guess Wax is tired of Cloud after that deal. So. All right. Wax Mega Man actually isn't that bad, yo. I remember him, I think, taking a game off Angel Cortez with the Mega Man a while back. I've never seen his Mega Man in my life, actually. I'm, this is going to be a treat to watch. I'm assuming he learned a lot from uh, He has a few friends that play Mega Man, so he probably takes some stuff up from them. And I like this Mega Man color. Oh, yeah. You don't see this one too often. I mean, you don't see Mega Man too often, so. Oh, my gosh. Back through. Now, this is a completely different matchup for Jen. Kind of overextended with that back air. It wasn't high enough to get the kill. Nice reverse. Or for it to connect, but that back air, though. What? Okay, yeah. That wouldn't kill, but that was a smart uh, mix up. It looked like he tried to raw back air, raw back air but um, he got stuck in the animation. <laughs> uh, the turnaround animation. Nonetheless, this, uh, this, um, oh, both of these guys, a little bit of spaghetti. That was dangerous. Yeah, I mean, you can't do much there. Yeah, but he, uh, able to get the stock anyways. That, that, uh, initial fair was very dangerous by Ralph. Is Mega Man actually coming in? Absolutely. It looks really nice. Okay, go jump. Good job by Jen not, uh, jumping in that situation. Oh, he wants you to pick that up. Nice damage. You kind of just got to sit through both of them. Double hard jab. Just been using that move a lot today. Yeah, I mean, it's such a good move. Definitely under you a lot. The range is one fist short. We are here. What is this? Grand finales. Grand finales. Dill, Jen, here we go. This is the regular matchup. Just going to monkey flip. Why not? Just do it. Who, who put uh, Jen in losers? Uh, Ralphie. With Cloud. Yeah? Yeah. So why did he? Okay. Whatever. Anyway, uh, still taking advantage of Ryu's bad run speed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just getting out of there. Yeah, you can kind of just run after, run away from Ryu, man. Hit him and just run away. I mean, that might not be the case in Ultimate because Ken is uh, <laughs> faster than Ryu. Right, <laughs> but he still looks kind of slow. Doesn't look like he's like tremendously fast. But nonetheless, we got Ryu on the stage right now. Down to not gonna do it, not yet. Okay, good trade. Why that move trades with everything? The world will never know. What? I guess it's her box push it off. I don't know. Pushed off the banana, didn't even activate it, just pushed it. Okay. Oh, but that's gonna be it. Uh, yeah. Down to a forward smash. Still always like celebrating stocks, like barrels. 
just, yeah. I don't know. Hooray. One day he's just going to barrel right off the stage by accident. Speaking of barrels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nasta freaking Domus. Literally barrels right off the stage, but gets spiked for it. Okay, here we go. Jen letting Dill pull his banana. Doesn't want to get hit by any next stuff. Oh, nice. Dill coming out of the shield. A little bit too slow. It's pretty tough to punish that nair. If you get hit um, with that nair lower on your shield, it's pretty. It's really tough to uh, punish it. With uh, Ryu's nair. Oh, yeah, Ryu's nair. Definitely. Yeah. If he lands on your shield with that and he hits you low, it's a nightmare. I do believe that has like the least landing lag of any in the game. Yeah? Yeah, besides Mega Man's nair. But that one's live, so it doesn't really count. Yeah. Here we go. Are you going to let him back on stage for free? I think just lit, run to the other side of the stage. No, I'm not going to put on any pressure. Bold grabs, I guess. Oh, this time, okay. Try and put himself in position to like do something about the monkey flip, but realizing, okay, probably not worth it. Oh. Okay. Now you're in this situation again. Oh, good use of focus. Ooh, going to get the spark. Nonetheless. Uh, Dill understanding where they, where he's gonna win this matchup. If he wants to kill him on the stage, he's gonna. Oh, excuse me. I thought the percentages were switched. Dill opt <laughs> just try not to die right now. Actually, he's already put on enough uh, enough percentage. Right now, he just doesn't want to do something unsafe like monkey flip into the kick right into him. I don't even know if that would have uh, auto canceled. That was a good show you though. A little bit late, but. I get it. The fact that he rolled late saved him because he knew the roll was coming. Oh, okay. Smart by Dill. Monkey flipping the other way, but no, it doesn't matter anymore. Jen taking first game. Nice job by Jen. Uh, Dill took an early lead and he walked him down. His focus. I like it. And the thing is, Dill understands that that can happen. So that's why even though he was up about 80%, 70%, he was up frozen. Uh, even though he was up by a good amount of percent, he still uh, he still understood that, listen, I can die. This is Ryu, man. You can die at any time. If you don't know that, it's 2018. There's only 23 days left until this game is dead and gone. If you don't know that by now, I don't know that. I don't know what you're doing in Ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's probably not. Oh my gosh. The, listen, just calling him out, bro. Literally Whoa. just said stop monkey flipping. <laughs> Chill, Jen. Oh my gosh. Oh. And he's. Okay, so he's definitely like inputting the short ones just in case he misses. Mm -hmm. the right call out. Yeah. And it's not easy to do that, man. It's so easy to hold that button just long enough to get the long, I assure you. So you can tell Jen really understands this character. Uh, okay. It looks like it looks like he smashed DI down so he can fall out a little bit earlier. Just smart. Trade. Okay, here we go. Jen not having a lot of momentum right now. He's not, uh, you don't see him running into a lot of Dill's options. Kind of keeping his feet grounded, walking him down. Ooh, yeah. that was scary for Dill. Ooh, very nice for by Jen. Mm -hmm. Oh, the trade. And now, this, this is why. This is why Jen is keeping his feet on the ground so often, so he can react to the monkey flips and the bad options by Dill. Just like that, he's able to trade with that uh, up smash. I'll take it. Just like that. It's so crazy, man. Dill knows exactly when you're going to come out of shield. I, we've seen him do that all day long. Ooh, calling it out with, um, I didn't know that beat out. Hard jab on him. You didn't know what? The hard jab beats out one. Oh, yeah, that hard jab uh, hitbox is huge, man. Definitely good tool for like, that situation. And it's quick enough to you to be able to react to it. It's not, it's not like you have to do like a forward tilt or up tilt or something. It's literally just holding the A button. Okay. 
Okay. Jen definitely like running on him a lot more than he was previously in the set. It looks like Jen is Jen is doing a good job of staying right in the burst range. Um, not too close, not too far. So right. as soon as he does something unsafe, he's able to get there. Right, not letting him pull banana. Mm -hmm. Forcing him to like only be able to pull it when he gets the damage. Okay. What are we gonna do here? Jen opted to just stay neutral, not doing anything unsafe, waiting for that roll. Gonna punish it, not gonna get a sure you out of it though. But in that, he gave up stage control, has to find his way down. Ooh, very ambitious fireball. Yeah. Okay. Jen doing a good job of just staying in between him and Banana. Every time uh, Dill pulls Banana, uh, Jen is there to contest it. Even though he may not grab it immediately, he's there to contest it. I do like that use of Fireball, because like, it did cancel with the Banana. It's actually something we've been seeing a lot like today. Uh -huh. Other people using projectiles to cancel out Dill's Banana and not have to like deal with that. Mm -hmm. Definitely a good tool to have. Really good. Ooh, there you go. Up smash. Didn't do it. Gonna do it. Great job by, by Dill. Stay focused at the end of that match. Although Jen, you can see the momentum was in Jen's favor. He was in the middle of the stage. He had stage control a lot of that match. But Dill didn't get tilted at all. He, he waited and waited. He was patient. Although he took some damage, he still waited. And uh, was able to uh, close out the stock. Oh, go into Lilat. Lilat. People seem to be taking uh, Dill here a lot today. Mm -hmm. Ralphie did the same. Yeah. I mean, you definitely want to mess up. Uh, you can mess up Diddy's auto cancel shenanigans and his bananas and all that. Just kind of mix up the stage for him, make it not as consistent. Something that you want to do. Only thing bad is up. I believe up smash still hits the platforms by Diddy, so that's still scary. But um. Also in this matchup, uh, oh God, yes. bro, that was 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds stock. Yeah. I'm definitely showing he knows like all the intricacies in this matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Before he did it again, he did the hard jab on the monkey flip. I guess showing that it, that wasn't an accident. Before he is doing that, uh, aware that it works. Yeah. Nice air dodge oh, and we a go. We have great near. Under a minute, you gotta reset. Nice. Yeah, that was a really good man. I like it. I like it a lot. Got the stock, nothing to like lose going Exactly. Forward. He had all the momentum, so even if he SD'd, he knew that he SD'd going for broke. And he, I mean, he had a lot of money. He was playing with house money with that one. <laughs> Up a stock, I'll take it. That was really smart by Jen. It's the it's at the this level of gameplay that you see like quick reactions, quick decisions being made. Um, on a lower level, you'll see uh, players kind of stay on stage, keep stage control, which isn't bad. It's not bad to keep stage control and keep uh, Diddy off the stage, but he saw an opportunity to get the kill very fast, and he capitalized on it. Here you go, some trades. Oh my goodness, man! These anti airs are too good. I wonder if his hitboxes are that good in Ultimate. Um, I don't know. I haven't been following the Reef stuff, yeah. but not too much of the gameplay. Nonetheless, they're really good in this game. So, <laughs> look at that. Every time Dill pulls Banana, it's always being, uh, it's always landing either right on top of Jen or behind Jen. So, uh, Dill has to go through Jen in order to um, retrieve it. Okay, Balloon just gonna get rid of Banana there. Jen trying to jump in with these nares a lot. Right now, Dill not falling for it. Yeah, he's stuffing them out really well. That was really good. The invincibility on Shoryu would have pulled right through the banana. Right. And then Diddy's love to go trace the banana or trail the banana. So he would have got caught with the extended hitbox. How are we gonna get down? Oh, yeah, down tilt fair. Good job. Good. Um, he kind of exhausted a lot of his options uh, using his jump to do that focus attack. So, a scary situation for him. 
And look at those reactions. He, a lot of times you'll see Ryu's kind of throw out two or three uh, tilts too many. Oh, and just going to combo break that. No rage, though, so it's not going to kill. Let's see if I can finish my thought. These guys are uh, not in the neutral. Oh, yeah. If he doesn't it, yeah. succeed the first time, Good just do it again. Sure. Yeah, definitely. That's another one. <laughs> 2018, double show you by Ryu. That one's a little harder to get used to, though. Because, like, it's such a bad option that it's a good one. Okay, so we're back to even stock count. and Yeah, and the percentages don't even matter. <laughs> I mean, not yet. Yeah. As much. Well, you definitely don't want to be down, but seeing, like, how well Jen deals with Diddy's tools, um, uh -huh. she'll definitely be able to, like, get an opening probably soon. -ish. Yeah, but that's the thing, like, just as much as the high percent is means uh, Ryu's closer to dying, the fact that he's, he can kill you easier is just as scary, man. Okay, good job by him. He's throwing out those fireballs so he doesn't have to shield the peanuts, and then he could just trace the fireball. It's definitely like some of the smartest use of uh, Ryu's fireballs I've seen. Not a move used that often aside from sometimes the red one. Yeah. We're kind of trying to throw a hitbox off the stage. Turn around, grab. Good job. Twenty-three. Both players just spacing their bears. Okay. Oh, and you see. Yeah. I'm gonna kill. And you see by uh by Dill, he um he grabbed them on top of the banana, but the banana didn't uh, the hitbox didn't activate. So he pummeled him a little bit, let the banana slide in, and even though it didn't break the grab he still took the damage when the uh, banana hit him so that might have put him right in range to die yeah that looked really good smart Where's the take? okay back to Lila that that definitely worked last set very well so he's gonna be trying to get like a repeat of some of that uh, plays. definitely oh, you yeah. see Jen he, he's, he seems very comfortable on this stage like Very comfortable. Part of it might be um, when Diddy does pull banana, then there's a good chance he'll fall on the platform. Then, yeah. Uh, he then like has to cut, like because the platform's there, he kind of changes up like um, what you can do about it when he tries to pick it up. Mm -hmm. I agree. Usually Diddy's allowed to like plug banana in the land right, like on the stage, so he doesn't really have to place it. But now that it's kind of being placed on top of a platform, he, kind of, he has to go get it again. So I definitely agree. That plays a big part in this um, in this matchup on this stage. Right now, Jen just catching his feet, trying to get back on stage. Ooh. Good ledge option. It looks like the banana disappears when uh, Jen does focus attack with banana in hand. You just notice that. Just oh. do it. He absolutely could have died for that. But he kind of rocked him to sleep with his uh, with his walk forward, and then just went up and did it. Kind of like a fox main. <laughs> it's the worst thing in the world when a fox main uh, just runs up to you and up smashes because <laughs> oh, you're yeah. worn and shield. <laughs> so disrespectful. Okay. Ooh. Very hey, good jumping on. Uh, yeah, calling out, to out. Oh. Such a dangerous situation for uh, the good. Gonna trade with that uh, that fair. That's not a good trade for Jim. Uh, he'll take the damage, but every time he's off stage, he could die. Taking that banana right there was. Did he oh jump? God. Oh. Yeah. It looked like he caught his jump. That was bad. Jen definitely has a very good feel for like when Dill is not going to like be running in. Uh -huh. Every time he's like, you know, Dill's not doing that, Jen's fireballing, which is like, it's not safe because Dill could definitely like, you know, jump over the monkey flip or something. But since, oh, okay, wow, he made that. Um, but since Jen is aware of like when Dill isn't going to go in, then that fireball is a very good option to just delete projectiles. Yeah, definitely. And it also looks like he's reacting to the pop gun. Every, anytime he sees pop gun, he immediately just throws out the fireball. Good call out. 
Oh, he DI'd in. Good job by Dill. Because he was getting carried off to uh, there. Absolutely. That trade with the banana on the up tilt put Dill right back in advantage. Dill's banana place is also very good like, over there. Um, plucking it in a way that it would help hit focus if he like focused. And then if he didn't focus, just land on the platform. Now you have to deal with that. Uh, right now, pretty, really even. Yeah. Definitely. This could go anybody's way. Um, seems like Dill is a little bit more scared, rightfully so. But um, this is going anybody's favor. Up throw, back air. Okay, you're not going to see any combo breaks now uh, because uh, any whiff by Jen could mean a uh, mean a stock. And he's on tournament stock right now. Let's see. Dill opting to get a fresh banana. Okay, he's going to trade with that uh, jab, I think it was. I think it was hard up tilt. Okay. Jen knowing that he's one banana interaction away from dying. Yeah. That's just very scary. Okay. Dill no, needs, to, Dill needs to pluck another banana. Yeah, that's definitely wasn't a good place to lose the interaction. Now he gets a banana. And you have to play very well here. Okay. Yeah. And it's kind of rinse repeat. The uh, Jen kind of had to play around the banana. And I then. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. Ah, there it is. Man. The wet noodle smack. Yeah. <laughs> by, uh, by Dill. Good job, by Dill. Good job. He played that very well. He understood exactly what he needed to do. Uh, Jen had the read on that roll, I just noticed. But uh, the fact that Dill um, slowed down the roll, um, kind of delayed it, kind of threw Jen off. So he put him in shield and made that roll safe. Yeah.